today I'm gonna be living like an Owen's sister. We're doing a daily vlog today, not a weekly. Today, I'm doing a daily vlog, but kind of with a spin on it. Even though I would love to do this type of vlog as a weekly as well. You guys know Practical Magic is one of my favorite movies. It's a comfort movie, and I especially love it in the summer, actually, not just the fall. It's like the perfect combination of spooky and summer vibes. So today, I'm going to be living like an Owen's sister. I know. As a redhead, I should probably... My dogs are playing like literally right on on top of my tripod, but it's fine. As a redhead, I know I should probably be dressing more like Jillian, but my style is actually more like Sally in general. She's very more cottage core vibe. She definitely, like the way they're, the way they're, the fashion in that movie is in style now. Sally is very early. Hey, copper, stop, come here. Sally is very much giving cottage core and Jillian is obviously very whimsy goth, which I love that as well. It's just not what my closet looks like. This is a very basic outfit. Actually, let me put on my cowgirl. I just vacuumed and washed my floor, so I don't want to put them on inside, but this outfit is very basic. But everyone, every time I wear it, people comment that I look like Sally. So I figured it's perfect. We're going to the farmer's market to start the day because I feel like that's very much practical magic vibes. My garden's not yet in fruition, so I'm gonna go get the goods somewhere. And practical magic is all about like growing your own own things so i feel like practical magic farmer's market is just the vibe we're gonna listen to obviously my favorite cv nicks who is my favorite you guys also know that but her song crystal in the movie practical magic is my favorite i wish i wish i wouldn't get copyrighted if i wanted to show it but i can't so i also really want to show you guys that i did start decorating my kitchen i hadn't done this since i've lived here i just feel like i hadn't accumulated enough Stuff. But since my bridal shower is coming up, those who aren't going, they've sent me gifts already, which I'll show you some of those things. But I just feel like this cozy kitchen vibe is starting to give practical magic. Obviously, I need some plants and stuff. I have one over there, but I definitely need some more stuff in here. But I can show you. This was a wedding present we received. I got these from Cracker Barrel. Really cute. I always get their seasonal salt and pepper shakers. I should go check what they have for summer ones. Amazon, Amazon. This is a picture with Mike's family when we went to Key West. I just got this indoor planter guys for my herbs I figured so I don't have to run outside every time but I don't think it's working properly I need to give it some TLC I definitely need to plant some more herbs in here but I figured so I don't have to run outside all the time I could have my herbs right in my kitchen this candle I just move with the vibe oh my god
god guys i actually i wanted to make one full coffee corner but this thing in the middle made it really hard to decorate these two spaces which the side's not done but i ended up settling on this i got the cutest coffee cups from amazon i can link all of this look how cute this is i went thrifting for a lot of stuff and i didn't have much luck around me so some of the stuff i ended up just buying but i thought that was really cute i did thrift this book which was a good find coffee table books cookbooks they're so expensive it's so frustrating i also thrifted these books and i thrifted this vase i got peonies at trader joe's they're dying now but oh my god what a score i got this as a wedding gift this was so exciting when this came in all of the stuff it gets so excited anthro i've had this forever i don't even know where amazon i love the mackenzie child's teapot the only thing i don't like about it is it doesn't freaking whistle but whatever wedding gift wedding gift i don't know where all of this is from amazon just this amazon my mom's kitchen also my mom's kitchen martha stewart wedding gift overall i think the kitchen is starting to look a lot cozier and now my flowers are dying but guys they were alive for so long they're from my rhododendron outside let's go <laughs> farmer's market I figured we can do a little haul i was very happy they had iced coffee i just got regular black iced coffee it's a cold brew it's really good actually not bitter at all i definitely ended up i definitely ended up buying and spending on things that i don't really need but like i really love supporting the local community how cute is this um, this chamberlain coffee bag i know this place because i see them all over rhode island fully rooted i really wanted to grab a juice just because i don't know i've been wanting to do a juice cleanse doesn't have the ingredients on this one but it was on the menu i just know it was like a green goddess lemonade oh wait it's up top green lemonade it has apple cucumber spinach celery and lemon so I'm gonna try this right now. Wow, that's really good. Mmm, really good. And then of course I got some hot sauce. Red's is actually very well known in Rhode Island, but I had never tried this one. It's the Citra one. She said it's a little like citrusy obviously in the name, but the name doesn't come from the citrus. It comes from the type of pepper used. It looks really good. You guys know I love my hot sauce, so I'm always looking new hot sauces to try. And then I got pickled jalapenos. Is this really gross if I try this in the car right now? I don't care. I actually love pickled things and I love jalapenos. Sometimes pickled jalapenos are gross though and sometimes they're really good. So let's find out. The wind. Mmm, guys. These are really, really good. And I love that the ingredients, like if you buy from a farmer's market, they're not gonna be a bunch of like crappy things in it. It's literally jalapeno, vinegar, sea salt, honey, and mustard seed. I have the doors off my Jeep, so I'm gonna put my hoodie back on because it's cold when I drive. Like it's, it's really nice out, but when I drive with the wind, it gets cold. I love this hoodie. Everyone always asks me where it's from. It's Abercrombie. Guys, there's also like the nicest woman there. She complimented me. She was like, she came up to me and she's just like, I just want to say, you look so amazing. If no one tells you today, your hair, your makeup, your outfit, everything's on fleek. She, was, she literally said on fleek. She was so cute. And she's like, everyone here is thinking it, but I'm going to be the bold one to say it. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. I really needed the confidence boost. I love nice people. It makes me very happy. I'm actually about to go to the pool with my friends. And I wanted to show you guys my outfit because this is my second practical magic outfit of the day. I have overalls on, which I feel like is also very much the vibe. I do have just my bathing suit underneath, sunnies, and for the car ride, because I'm always cold, I have this flannel, switch things up, and that's the fit of the day. And I would also say, guys, like jewelry is really important for practical magic vibes, especially like rings. I don't have any earrings on today just because I'm going to the pool and I'll probably leave these in the car. These are just cheap ones. Obviously, my engagement ring stays on. But yeah, outfits are a big part of the practical magic vibe.
just on our way to go see Ellie. What? Um. We're going to see Ellie, who is my horse, as of like today or tomorrow. So, very excited. 